So I have a story problem. And for applications like this or story problems, whichever you want to call them, half the battle is just getting your equation set up. So of course, when you first look at it, it's always overpowering. It's like, oh my God, look at all those words. So what we need to do is we need to dissect those words so that it makes it easier for us to solve the equations. So I notice right off the bat, I'm looking for length and width. And it gives me a value for perimeter and it gives me a value for area. So what I need to know is what are those formulas? Well, the formula for perimeter, remember, is two times the length plus two times the width. Okay, and it tells me that the perimeter is 20. So I can plug that in. I've got 20 equals two times the length plus two times the width. Now, I notice that everything in that's got a 2 in common, so wouldn't it be awesome if I could just divide everything by 2? Well, guess what? You can. So we're going to divide through by 2. So I'm going to get 10 equals the length plus the width. Now, I'm going to call this equation 1. The other equation that it mentioned to us is area. So I just need to know what is the formula for area. Well, I know that area is length times width. It tells me that the area is 21, so I've got 21 equals length times width, so that's going to be equation 2. So now we have a system of equations, which is what we're talking about, and the easiest thing for me is I notice that substitution here looks a lot nicer, because I'm not adding length and width in both of them. One is multiplied and one is adding. So let's take equation 2, and I don't know, let's divide by the length. So I get that 21 over L equals W. So now I'm going to plug that in for W into my first equation. So I get 10 equals L plus 21L. So what do I want to do? Well, I'm going to multiply through by L. So I'm going to take this whole thing times L because I need to get rid of the denominator. So I've got 10L equals L squared plus 21. Oh, hey, if I could set this equal to 0, I could factor it. So I'm going to subtract 10L from both sides. And then I'm going to write it over here on the far right hand side. So I'm going to get 0, that didn't look very pretty. I'm going to get 0 equals L squared minus 10L plus 21. So now I need the factors of 21 that add up to 10. Well, I know right off the bat that's 7 and 3. So I'm going to have 0 equals, and I've got L and L, and I just said I had 7 and 3. The signs are the same, they're both minus. So I'm going to set each one equal to 0, so I get L minus 3 and an L minus 7. So now I get L equals 3 and I get L equals 7. Now here's the kicker. Which one of these is correct or are they both correct? Well, we need to find out. Those are our L values, so now we need to find out W. So why don't you go and try that on your own and come back and check your answers. So when I entered the L equals 3 and the L equals 7 into the area formula, I got 7 and 3. Totally not what I was expecting as an answer. But so what that basically is telling us is that it doesn't matter which dimension is length and which dimension is width. So basically, we just need to say that it is a 7-foot by three foot rectangle.